Oscar winner F. Murray Abraham is back on stage tackling the title role in Brecht's Galileo. We're at Classic Stage Company to get the story behind the story of a scientific revolutionary. Galileo is this extraordinary scientist who uh, told the world uh, at its time a relatively simple truth, but what for its time was an inconvenient truth, that uh, the earth is not the center of the universe, uh, the plants do not revolve, the sun does not revolve around it, uh, yeah, this, the earth revolves around the sun. Long story short, the Catholic Church basically just told him he couldn't, um, he couldn't share those ideas, and so they were sort of buried for a while. What, uh, what am I going to learn about Galileo that I don't already know, or think I already know, uh, from this production? I think what uh, a lot of people are going to learn is that he was a man. That, that's the way I'm playing him. He's not some kind of a little, an old dead legend. He has appetites, and he has a great deal of uh, explosive and, I think, entertaining energy, and that's the way I want to play him. It's a great part. I mean, you have to do the great parts. If you, if you ever have a chance, you have to go anywhere to do that. We like to think of him as a, as a wonderful hero. Uh, Brecht thinks of him as a, as a terrific anti-hero because as, as we sometimes forget, Galileo did recant. Um, he was shown the instruments of torture and he decided, fine, uh, <laughs> what I said about the earth, forget about it. I think it's a play about doubt and uncertainty and what happens when not only one person experiences that in a, in a really large way, but when uh, the world faces you know, these new facts. And I think that that uh, is something that will always remain true and continues to remain true. The truth only gets through as, as easily and as difficultly as, as a person pushes it through. And I think in our times, we can be a little apathetic that, well, the truth will out. And I think that's what Galileo's tale is caution about is that it might not unless unless you're willing to push it forward. It's a really transporting play that people I've known who've come have felt that they've they've left not only with a, a greater grasp of the historical circumstances and the historical problem but also it's a it's a fresh look at our current issues between science and faith and I think that the issues that we just read about when we open the newspaper so it gives I think it gives a historical context to everything that we're going through today. Can you give us a little sense of what we'll be seeing on stage? What is this going to look like for people that maybe don't know Brecht very well? A lot of naked people. No, 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 I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. You're going to see stuff here that you just have never seen before. It's wide open. There's there are planets floating around. Uh, the people themselves become part of the universe because stars are projected on them during the show. We talk to the audience, with the audience. We, we have a, a communal effort to understand how someone like Brecht could speak so directly to them after 60 years. What Brecht is interested in is the fact that this was a flawed human being, not a perfect hero, and there is no such thing as a perfect hero. Uh, and, and I think throws down the gauntlet to us to sort of say, yes, you, we are, he is as imperfect as, as the audience is, and yet look at all he did. What can you do? We, we just try to not hammer people over the head with a lesson. What happens, I, I'm hoping, is that they'll be amused and then suddenly realize that we're speaking right to their hearts. And that's, I think, the best lesson.